Hello, my name is Cori Yoder of Coriander Quilts. Welcome back to my channel. Today is the second week of the finishing instructions for the Oh Happy Day Sampler Sew Along. Last week, we made a whole bunch of four and a half inch stars, or maybe you opted to skip the stars and cut four and a half inch squares, as I mentioned, you could do as an alternative for last week's piecing of these little cute stars. This week, the piecing is going to feel much simpler, especially if you pieced the stars last week. And we are going to be making these little patchwork border sections. Now, I almost don't even need to film a video for these little guys because they just come together in a flash. We get to use the pretty little prints left over from our Fat Eighth bundle and stitch them right up. But let me talk about exactly how you're going to go about this. Looking down on my cutting table here, you are going to want the sampler finishing instructions PDF that I shared last week. And there is a new PDF over on my blog, corianderquilts.com today. And you're going to want to print this one out as well. This is specific for what you are making this week. Now, you may have gone ahead and cut out your patchwork squares. I mentioned last week that you could cut those out if you wanted to, but if not, what you want to do is cut out 144 two and a half inch by two and a half inch squares from your remaining prints that are left over from piecing your Oh Happy Day blocks. So just a variety of those. 144 of them. And then you're also going to need some of your B strips. These are included in with your 29 strips right here. So you are going to be sub cutting a portion of those, 16 of them, down into 48 rectangles that measure one and a half by 12 and a half. And that is exactly what I have here. I have two of those strips. I pieced all of my 24 patchwork borders, 24 of these, except for one. So I have just one left to show you, just like I did last week with the stars. I saved one to show you how we piece this. Let me move my papers out of the way here. And you're just going to lay these out. You're going to need six of them for each patchwork border. And lay these out. These are all going to get sewn together. And then press your seam in one direction. Let me show you what the back of this one looks like here. So you can see that I've sewn these together, pressed all in one direction. And then after doing that, I sewed my border strips on the top and bottom, and then those seams get pressed towards the center. Now, I want to mention when you are pressing these patchwork pieces right here, be not too aggressive with your pressing. This is a time where I find that if I am too aggressive with all of those seams, it can easily get stretched longer than you want it to be. So I'm sure that you've heard time and time again that we are pressing rather than ironing. And this is a good time to remind yourself of that, that we do want to just press this up and down rather than horizontally across, especially if you wait to press until you have all of those sewn together. And then if you're pressing hard, you can easily lengthen this more than you want it to do just with the heat and the steam from your iron. So it's something to keep in mind when you're pressing that. But aside from that, this is pretty straightforward piecing. No know anything complicated really on this one. I don't know what I was going to say there. I was thinking of some of the units that we've done. No half square triangles, no flying geese, just straightforward squares and rectangles. So you're going to make 24 of those for this week. As you can see here, the pressing is included on these instructions. So do make sure that you print out this paper. 24 of these little patchwork borders. And then next week we are going to start sewing everything together. We will be adding the remainder of our sashing. We're going to be sewing our blocks together. We're going to be adding borders and it will be the final week of the finishing instructions for this sew along. I had a lot of fun piecing these little patchwork borders. It was 
fun just to have sort of a, a fun scrappy-ish mix of patchwork prints to work on, especially after using all of one print for my stars. It was just a fun time to sew all of these together. I hope that you find it equally as much fun to sew these together. And I hope you're enjoying seeing how these blocks are all coming together. And I can't wait to show you how everything comes together next week. You're gonna have a pretty good idea from what we've already pieced, or maybe some, some guesses of how these are going to fit. But next week, I'll show you exactly how that's going to go. And I'll catch you then. Thanks so much for watching and have a wonderful day.